Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. This is a multiple videos into one video kind of video. So I have day five of hashtag five days of Christmas fun and the winner and Tuesday morning. I also have a bear story if you want to hear it. Okay, so today, the last day, it's a stocking, essentially, it's a fake stocking, it's not a stocking, it's a bag, to put all of the goodies in, and I found this bag at Tuesday morning, and it was, it's a, to me, it's a Christmas bag, but because it wasn't in the Christmas section, it was a great deal, and it's so festive and sparkly, and back here, you can see the whole thing is like that. And I punched um, a border on some matte mirror cardstock, and I used more Merry Days because I, it's the only paper I used. And this is a pocket here, but I always slice the bottom so that it also, if it has to, it can go into this part. But this bag also has a pocket in the bag. Isn't that cool? So this bag will be filled with my wand, my snowflake, my ornament, and my snow globe. I'm just shaking it for you. Okay, and we'll do the winner first. I, that's what took me so long for this video is so late. You ladies, I don't even know. I am, I can't even express, as always, the gratitude and that I have. I am so grateful and I can't thank you enough. I, I don't know. I am just very grateful to you all and thank you for all of your love and support during this five days of uh, Christmas fun. You, you know, you came, you watched the videos, you left comments, and I, I am just always floored. I am always amazed. Um, and I thank you all. I'm sure everyone says this from the bottom of my heart, but really, I really really thank you so so very much and I will pick a winner I also forgot that this bag has all of these tags that I made they're from Merry Days two of them are just Merry Days but then I put the other ones on glitter paper and they're just on this so this way you can cut it off and you can use these for whatever you want so I thank you all. I thank Susan and Linda and Robin for playing with me and having a good time with this challenge. Um, this challenge, it's not really a challenge. I don't know why I called it that. This almost an experiment. <laughs> and it's been a great success for the Halloween and the Christmas. So this is obviously something that you like, so who knows what the future holds. So after carefully combing through all the comments and everything, the picker picked Kimberly Creates. Kimberly Creates, you are the winner of this crafty goodness. Um, my email is in the description box below. Click show more and it's got a whole bunch of info there. And email me your address and next week I will send this holiday fun out to you. And congratulations. Thank you so much everyone who visited and commented every day. I wish I had more prizes but I do know there will be randomly more prizes. There's always prizes so I love giving prizes and so just stay tuned for more of that. So I'm going to put this aside and 
get to my Tuesday morning haul, which isn't very big. This whole thing has been like a blur, right? Is it only me? Oh my goodness. Crafting every day and Thanksgiving and all of that. And I hope I didn't even say that. <clears throat> Sorry, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and that it was filled with fun and love and blessings and all things awesome. Um, we had a lovely Thanksgiving and um, it was awesome. Um, with delicious food. We had a great day. It just I just love Thanksgiving because, you know, Christmas, when you have kids, you know, everybody opens stuff and the kids want to run off and play, right? My kids are older now, but I'm just saying Thanksgiving, it seems like you all stay together all day, you know? So it's really, it's awesome. So I hope you all had a beautiful, blessed holiday. And I don't know if you're all out shopping black friday sales oh my goodness i can't even imagine like oh black friday to me is i can't even think of being out in all of that mayhem mass hysteria pandemonium oh but i know some people love 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 it and that's cool so since this is a abbreviated haul i don't know it's enough, but so first it was cute. I got a bunch of dies, but my husband, I was still looking for pocketbook die and whatever. And my husband was by a Tuesday morning. That is not where I go. And he went in and they didn't have that, but he thought that I would like some layered clouds dies, which is cute. I don't think I would have got them but it was sweet and then he got me some cat dies this says just perfect under there and it's got a cat <laughs> he is such a pip and then you got this love cats look the tails make a heart I don't know what made him think that we needed a bunch of love cats and stuff but okay that was fun so i thought that was really funny and i found this handmade with love i love that 249 only these ones were th that was 249 these other ones 399 but look how cute handmade with love with the flowers it's hard to see there some of the handmade with love but it's two and three quarters inches by 3.6 inches. So it's a good size to so that. I found that this is when, you know, I went and from me to you, isn't that sweet? I think it is. It's big too. The size is covered up with the price, but it's pretty big. So I thought that was super cute. And that guy there, and my husband also picked me up this star. This one was also from him, and it says star bauble, so I guess it's supposed to be like a, a Christmas decoration, a tree decoration, but he knows I love stars, and this one I got. I don't know what the heck got on it. But the die is fine. 249. That's its actual size. So you put a couple of these together with a couple of red diamonds. Beautiful. Holly, I did this to make sure that whatever this is wasn't on the die. So that. And last, I did get this because I thought, how neat would this be as a Christmas card? Um, Yuletide adornments. And you can see it there. You know how this works. You know, at the front of your card. I just thought that the Christmas ornaments were so pretty and the scroll work in the corner. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this this year or if I'm not. I, I wish I could answer that because I have so many Christmas ideas. So, but I really liked it. So, I got it. So then there's that. Mm -hmm. Then, um, I found a bunch of little things, I guess, little random bits. I found these little umbrella charms, $1.79. How pretty will they look on a, and I don't know, they're too small for the bottom of a dangle, but just in a dangle, I have to make Christmas dangles. I am so behind. I don't know. And then I got these because these are just cute to put on dangles. It says Lucky and a Wishbone and a four leaf clover. And these were $1.99. Boom. But, you know, these kind of things, you get them when you see them. Or at least that's what I do. And then I got two of these. $1.49. You know, you get eyelets all over the place. But when I love the when they come with washers. Because it just makes it look so polished. So I got two of them. Mm -hmm. And then... And I bought these, which I bought a billion times before. These little black and white bows. Mm -hmm. Almost forgot the word. Yep. Like a kook. Okay. So then I got this. Because I am still crossing my fingers that we're going to make the female reindeer with horns, ornaments, and pink flowers and this snowman is so cute i'm hoping i will make or you know what else snow and coco has some pink pom-poms i want to see about putting pink pom-poms and inside is like all these foam little white foam puffs so this is $5.99 i swore the other one i got was $4.99 was i am i wrong Look at this. This is like, what do I do? <laughs> okay. Oh my heckness. Okay. I don't want to start yelling help. So let's see if I can just move some stuff. There you go. See? Everybody can fit. Okay, you two can go on top of each other. So. Yeah, we got this, and, um, and this cat, and that guy. Okay, good. So, um, the only other thing I got was these pieces to finish up Cozy Christmas, because I had already got it, so I got the washi tape. Which I thought was super pretty, merry and bright, and it's got the blue, and the, this part up here, trucks with presents. So I was happy to find that, and I found one ninety nine for these journaling cards. They're always good to have. Here's what's in it. Oop, get it out of the glare. Yep. Getting darker earlier and earlier. And the chipboard buttons. I love these. I do. And I got the Brads. Because I just love them. And they come with these um, Brad Enhancers is what they called them a hundred years ago. And mittens and bikes and pretty colors and this single-sided pack of stickers dollar nineteen so I got it I'm put them over there 
a little bit. And, 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 and. So, that's it for my Tuesday morning haul. So, what I was going to tell you about the bear. Okay, we've discussed. I have bear. Bear walked down the street in daytime in my neighborhood. Bizarre. Not every day. You know, nothing like that. But, come on now. This is, there's a limit, you know. So, um, they kept getting in the garbage shed. I talked about that like a week ago. And, you know, Spike's been bugging out a little bit, you know. So, we were getting ready for Thanksgiving. And, um, see, I don't know about you, but I'm like, got to get this place cleaned up. Oh, my heck. So, we're cleaning up. And I found a, a bowl that had candy from Halloween, not opened in it but it was just like put in the pantry and I was like well is anybody eating this I remember we were running low on candy so I called my husband and said can you pick up a couple bags so he came home with this odd candy and I was like what why would you do this like instead of you know the normal candy and um, he said that's all they had and I said okay one of them was caramel apple lollipops and my husband said they were disgusting and this is coming from a man who has practically eaten gas station sushi he's in construction and he has eaten at convenience stores across the globe practically across the country and had disgusting food before for him to not like that and say it was that bad must have been really bad and then they had this imitation pop rocks candies is what it was and my son, Marshall, my younger son, who's 20, eats candy like it's his day job. I mean, he is at work on a break. He goes and buys some candy, and he's just always eating candy, and his teeth are fine. He's, in, he's good, no problems, just loves candy, and okay. So I said, are you going to eat these Pop Rocks? He said, they're disgusting. And like I said, he'll eat almost any candy so whatever Carl got was horrible so I threw it all out so the next morning we see that the bear bears because it's been the mama and the baby got in the shed again tore the garbage up pulled garbage out of it and so Carl goes to pick up the garbage <laughs> and they took it like a run because with like a fence, a shed and a fence, and there's like an opening, so it's like, it's like a, a really steep hill, and they dragged it over there, and Carl, he said, all you see is, is unbelievable, all you see is a bunch of sticks from the lollipops all over the, all over the ground, no lollipop, no wrapper, the sticks were all there, and all of the pop rock candies were open they were eaten and but they left the paper on the ground so we were like what is it did the baby bear just have like a a party with candy i don't understand and since when did bear eat lollipops and leave the stick behind and uh, so at first i was a little after we giggled about it, then i freaked out a little bit and i was like whoa are we sure this isn't a human gratefully my neighbor has a camera he's worried about bear too and he's got it and it's like actually you can see the back of my fence and the back of my shed and you can't see them oops hold on everybody that's my bad oh no i didn't shut my phone up okay sorry sorry but you can see back there and not down though you want to make sure they're not coming in we're all a mess with this so no it wasn't a person he has on video of them around my shed and then going dragging stuff down the hill but so yeah so now of all the things on my garbage there were leftover food and whatever you know the only thing that they dug for and ate was the candy so I don't know. I, I'm at a loss for what's going on with this. I really, I really am. I, I don't know what else to say, but hopefully they hibernate and we'll have to 
my husband had to, he had put a rake through the doors for the garbage shed and there they were able to figure out a way to move it so they could open the door. These are very, very intelligent bear. And so now he has like a big piece of plywood screwed to big studs so that it's like pretty much barricaded now until we all figure out what our, what our next plan is. But that's it. So in case you didn't know, bear have sweet teeth. Uh, my bear have a sweet tooth and they like lollipops and pop rocks. So that's what I have. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and enjoy shopping if you're doing it. I hope your uh, Thanksgiving was a, a wonderful holiday for you and all the blessings and all the gratitude to all of you always. Congratulations again, Kimberly Creates. You're the winner and I will see you all in my next video, which is gonna be my end of the month hashtag no paper left behind video and then Sunday starts our bed calendar. So I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome everyone. Bye.